Welcome. Come on in. Everyone is welcome at this table. Global greetings. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. If this is your first time, I'm Imelda. And today I am doing a reflection of 1 John chapter 4, verse 10, entitled Loving Compassion. So I'm holding a space for you, so just grab a seat. And let's share what we're grateful for. As I share what I'm grateful for, drop a comment down below. It always blesses me to get to read your comments and always enjoy those. So I want to thank you in advance when you do that. So today I spent a good portion of the day. I think I was up just before two o'clock this morning and uh, went right into prayer with the Lord, went into corporate prayer after that, and then spent a good portion preparing for a prayer session that is starting. It's a 12-hour prayer session that is coming up uh, tomorrow, which is Friday. So if you want to know a little bit more about that, please um, send me a DM and I will send you the information or give you the details. Also, I'm grateful that um, I was working on some research this afternoon. I kind of started it a little bit last night, got into it some more this afternoon, and just will continue into tomorrow. I want to kind of wrap that up because then I've got the family wedding celebration starting Friday afternoon through Saturday, and then I won't be, I'll be pretty much offline until Sunday. So um, just some new uh, things that I'm looking into and just grateful to have the opportunity to just do the research and learn. So grateful for so many things. Again, share what you're grateful for. Heavenly Father, we praise you, we bless you, and we thank you, Lord. Thank you for counting us among the living today. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. We will be glad and rejoice in it. Lord, thank you that you are our teacher and that you will inscribe the words onto our hearts. And Lord, we thank you that we will step out in bold faithfulness when you give the command to share this message with others. Lord, we thank you for all the souls that you're going to guide us to harvest, Lord, for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Again, let's go to 1 John chapter 4, verse 10. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but he loved us. I'll read it again for you. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. Beloved brothers and sisters, the supreme happiness of life. Victor Hugo says, is the conviction that we are loved. Love is the first requirement of mental health, declared Sigmund Freud. Unfortunately, many people go through life feeling unloved or unlovable. Perhaps they were constantly criticized or ignored as children, don't know, or their family was torn by conflict. Perhaps they made bad choices about important issues in life, which only confirmed their belief that, the, that they were unworthy of love. This may be your experience, but listen, I have good news. No matter the reason your feelings aren't telling you the truth. They're not telling you the truth. Your feelings are not telling you the truth. God loves you. And if you begin to see yourself the way God does, sees you, your attitude, beloved brothers and sisters, will begin to change. It'll shift. Your attitude will change. Will change. If he didn't love you, would Christ have be willing to die for you? Would he have been crucified on the cross if he did not love you? But he did, the Bible says, by this we know love because he laid down his life for us. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 16, God loves you. Make no mistake, beloved brothers and sisters, I care about you and I love you, but most importantly, God loves you. Each and every one of you, there is absolutely nothing that you have done that the Lord cannot forgive you. For God loves you. Hammer, hammer, hammer that truth into your heart and mind every single day. Beloved brothers and sisters, it will make all the difference in the world. It will make all the difference. Accept his love. Accept his love. Acknowledge him because he walks with you every day. 
the love brothers and sisters i never like to leave my broadcast without giving you the opportunity to know jesus as your lord and savior it's real simple i extend my hand out to you virtually gracious god please forgive me for my sins i believe that you died for me and by your blood i am forgiven lord i ask you to come into my heart give me a new heart take control of my life be my lord and savior amen amen i want to thank you if you prayed that prayer but if you're not sure what to do after you've done that, please just leave me a comment down below or send me a DM and I will reach out to you and pray with you. I will pray with you and help you find a church in your community to continue to help you to grow in your faith. Until next time, beloved, be blessed. Bye now.